Hi, Miss Teresa. Hello, hello. You look radiant. Hi, why well, thank you, ma'am. It must be all this new healthy food that you're eating and all this weight loss and all this change in your, you know, your health that's that's just giving you a glow. <laughs> Definitely the, the, the health, yes, but also the mental clarity that comes along with the health loss. You know, you don't have that fog and that, that feeling of a heavy burden on you and all that just is lifted off. So yes, yeah, thank you. Yeah, so is that what was going on with you a few months ago? You just felt what just that you had a fog well, I, I, had got, I, I had gone from being active to gaining so much weight that I just it wasn't me anymore and I would come home from work and all I want to do once I sit on the couch that's it I wasn't going anywhere else if I could fall asleep trying to watch a movie I, I just I had no energy it whatever I expended during work was gone by the time I came home and there was nothing left over so it was just work and no enjoyment because there was no no energy left for me to enjoy myself anymore. And it, it just, I was like, you know, something's got to change. That's just not a way of life. Something's got to change. Did you have any idea what might be going on with that kind of decline in how you felt? Well, I played on my thyroid because I have hypothyroidism. And so I had gotten up to taking uh, 137 micrograms. And it still was not being enough for me. And so I would constantly go back to the doctor and get my levels checked. I need more medications. This, this isn't enough. It's not enough. Um, I was having to take um, energy drinks throughout the day to get me through. And and so it just, it's, I just, okay, if it's not my thyroid, well, then what? Then what? And I know I needed to lose weight. I knew that was part of it. But as much as I tried, I couldn't drop a pound, not an ounce. And I tried many, many, many ways to do that. And it just nothing worked. I, I, so I thought part of, okay, it was my age, you know, at over 50, right? Way over 50. But, uh, you know, so that just can't be it. It just can't be the fact that, you know, okay, I'm old, I'm going to get fat. That just can't be it. <laughs> well, and I, this is why I love that you're talking about this, Teresa, because this is what you're being told. When you yeah, go to your yes. doctor, oh, it's your thyroid. Oh, it's menopause. Oh, it's your age. You just got to, you just got to expect it. And they don't, you don't leave their doc, their office with any sort of a direction on what you need to do. It's just more medication or yes. nope, you're stuck with it. Yes. And, and that was exactly it. Yeah. I had one doctor told me, Oh, it's just because you're getting older. And, well, I see lots of skinny people walking around the road. It's not, you know, we're not overweight, you know? Um, and so I wasn't satisfied with that, that answer. And so I would seek another answer. And then they would say, well, I had one doctor wanted to give me fetamine. And I took one dose of that and said, oh, I didn't sleep for three days. That's not going to happen. <laughs> oh, so, my gosh. So wow. I said, there's got to be a better way. And then my sister was telling me about your academy and about your program. And, and she was telling me, you need to join. You need to join. It'll really help. She says, maybe you have um, a hormonal imbalance. It could be a lot of different things that's causing you not to lose the weight. You really need to join and learn more about what's going on with your system. Get it in balance and the weight will, will go away as a side benefit, you know. Mm -hmm. And so when she when she told me how well her program went with you, I was sold. I was like, okay, if you can do it, I can do it. Yeah, I mean, this is where so many women are confused because, like I said, they'll go to their doctor and they don't get any sort of help. They they will try to Google or research and there's there's like a kajillion programs out there. There's a kajillion mm -hmm. opinions out there. And I'm a strong believer. It's facts that each one of us has our own unique biochemistry. Each of us have our own unique situation. So you can't just do the same thing everybody else is doing. You've got to have a kind of customized, which is what, right. what, you know, you were able to gravitate toward the, the things I teach and apply it to you. And you just, you just amazed me at how well you did. Well, when I went, when after I joined your, I joined the program and you gave me the lab sheet to take to my doctor, she wasn't amazed when, when she saw the, lab, the things you were requesting. And she said, oh, she knows what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. She said, I've got no problem requesting the, the, the lab work for you. She said, she definitely knows what she's doing. So she oh. was very impressed as well. Oh, <laughs> you know, and, and here's, I, I want to say this real quick, because I, as most people know about me, I don't sometimes talk very highly of certain physicians because I see the other, I see the backside of it where mm -hmm. physicians are always more drugs, more drugs. You're not going to get better. And they're very disempowering conversations that my clients have with their MDs with Medicaid with doctors like you who are, who are supportive of what we teach and who will take the labs and will be, you know, an advocate for, 
making the changes that we teach. That's the kind, mm -hmm. that's how a physician should be. That's yeah. how a and doctor she should be. Yeah. And she, my, my, my current physician, she's very, she's very receptive and, and she loves she, that. Oh yeah. No, anything, anything, she's very receptive to it. Um, I, I would joke with my sister that, you know, to get in to see her takes me forever. And I get so frustrated because of the, it's a waiting period. But then when you go in and you talk to her and how open and receptive she is to things and how she is, takes more of that, not just the medical side approach, but also looks the alternative medicine side of the approach that it is worth the wait. <laughs> every, every medical doctor, nurse practitioner out there listening to this, that's, I'm encouraging all of you to support that sort of strategy where you, you work with a holistic coach like me, we work together as a team because that's when you'll truly get the best yes. results. When, yes. when a doctor is going against what we're teaching, it's just never, it, it's not, it doesn't work. And I see that side of it all the time. I see the yeah. side where my clients are getting worse and they're getting more and more medications. Their A1Cs aren't getting better. Their weight's gaining, they're gaining weight. They're not mm -hmm. feeling good, whatever. So I appreciate you giving, you know, some good accolades for your MD, because I really do think there's a lot of good ones out there, but yeah. we also have bad ones. So let me show this graphic, Teresa, because I just want people to see how amazing you did. I mean, this is incredible. Look at this. Now, since you were with me in my program, you lost 54, but as you were sharing with me before, you're actually, uh, you're down 68 pounds because yeah. you were in my free group, which is where a lot of these women are watching uh, the program now. But, uh, you know, for the sake of just being in the program, 54 pounds, 47 inches down, 10 sizes. Are you kidding me? Yes. Went yeah. from a 16 to a six. Yes. But look at this. Amazing. Look at these. these. Oh, yeah. Stats. And the, the picture of me in the T-shirt, the that was in October. That was my first photo shoot that we had to do with you to, to give you our measurements. So that was October to present. Wow, girl. And I don't know if you recall this, but at the beginning of you know the program, actually at camp, I have you fill out a goal sheet. And here were the four goals that you really stressed that you wanted to try to make happen. Weight loss improved digestion, better energy, and improved sleep. Have you matched or have you kind of made? I have met every one of them. I'm, really? I'm very blessed to say I've met every single one of them. Yes. Isn't yes. that crazy? And that you know, that what, is crazy. You know what, what just, it just baffles me. And I just wish every woman would just hear this and, and really, really hear this is that our bodies want to be healthy. They want to be healthy. We just have to learn what we need to do to provide our bodies with the right stuff so that our imbalances will go away. So the inflammation will go away. Our bodies yes. want to be healthy. And, and so many of you guys are being told that nah, it's just menopause. It's just age. It's your thyroid. Yeah. You're, you're living proof that that's just not true. Well, that, that may have, that may have been part of the problem that caused it, but like you say, it's not one thing that's going to get rid of it. So I had to try the multitude of, of everything that you've taught us to to start, you know, getting out to the healthier version, the cellular level uh, of to get rid of all that junk. Yeah. What would you say is the top, you know, out of all the things that you learned, what would you say was the top piece of information that you learned and you applied that was just kind of like, major I would have to say one one of the one of the important most important things that I, that I had to learn was that to read the labels and how to read the labels because what I thought I was buying that was healthy for me that was marketed as healthy foods at the grocery store were not that healthy for me <laughs> yeah and, and that was a that was a big shift because I'm thinking okay I'm gonna go buy these foods you know especially the convenient more frozen foods things um because of my busy lifestyle and I think, okay, well, I'm going to go to the diet section and get all this good, healthy stuff. And then once I learned how to read the labels, I'm like, oh my goodness, that's horrible what I'm putting in my body. Mm. So, so that was a big, uh, important part for me is, is learning the difference between what, what marketing people are seeing as healthy and what's really healthy. Yeah. And so your 12 bad foods helped me to learn that. How to read the labels was very important helping me how to do that. So yeah. those were some of my most important things, I think, that, that helped me. Yeah, the food companies, the they're not they're not at all interested in uh, helping us become healthy. They want to sell products. 
So they're going to put the cheapest the yeah. ingredients in their products as possible. And those cheap ingredients are so toxic. And so once you can just learn that, like you said, it just, it's just, it makes you not want to put that stuff in. People ask me this all the time. Well, your program, it, it just seems too hard. I could never get rid of A, B, C, or D. I could never do it. No, however, when you really learn and understand what that, those things are doing to you on a cellular level, and you start to practice and remove you don't them. want them anymore. You don't want them anymore. One, because your knowledge, you you know about it. Two, you start to feel yeah. better. And you don't, you just, you're like, yes. oh my gosh, it's so worth it. And the cravings for that crap goes away. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah. Well, my, cra- um, my cravings when, during working, during the work year, part of the year that I work, um, I'm always, by three o'clock, I'd have that sugar rush. Candy, Snickers, cakes, anything. I needed that sugar rush to get me the energy boost to get through the rest of the day. It wasn't so much that I just craved certain types of food. I just needed sugar. I craved sugar, soda, something because for the energy part of it. And I'd become so dependent on those five hour energy shots to get me through. Mm-hmm. Um, that once I started applying your program to my health, the need for that went away. And as the need for all that junk went away, so did the cravings. I didn't have those cravings anymore. Mm. And so what I do now, if I get a craving for something, I got to stop and think, okay, am I hungry or am I thirsty? Mm. Because at my age, my thirst mechanism doesn't work very well. Do you mind sharing, what, you, do you mind sharing what your age is? You don't have to. I'm 60. Because you I'm look 60. so, I mean, you look like you're in your late 30s, early 40s. Like seriously. That's very generous of you. I mean- <laughs> amazing but but my I don't get I can I can go an entire day and drink one glass of water and I'm happy and that's all I it's all I would take and so because what I would do is when I when I thought I was hungry I would eat and I think what was truly going on as I listened to my body more is that my body's telling me I need hydration now whether you're going to get it I'm going to squeeze a little bit out of some food product you're going to eat or whether you're going to give me the healthiest thing you can give me liquid wise, I need something. And so I wasn't truly listening to my body. And so really it just wanted more hydration. Yeah. And so, so now I make sure that I drink more and that way I'm, I'm able to, I don't really hungry. And if I do want something that I'm going to think, okay, what is the healthiest version I can get of that? You know, if I'm craving something sweet, okay, I want something sweet today yeah. after dinner. What's a healthy version? Oh, I can have some strawberries. I can have, and there's always something you can have that, that is more nutritious than just pure sugar. Well, that's also shows that you are in tune with your body. You're actually, you're, you're now able to listen and understand it. Most women don't understand why they have cravings. They don't understand why they can't lose weight. They, and their, their signals are so mixed up in their body. And they're trying all these, like you said, these energy drinks and these hormones and, you know, because they're just like, I don't know what to do. And when you can get rid of the inflammation and, and do what, you know, do what I teach you and you lose some of that weight and you can start really being in tune with your body because you start feeling better. And then when you do have a negative symptom, you're like, whoa, that's not supposed to be there. What, what's going on? And you pay attention. Yeah. That's so empowering. There, you cannot put a price on that at all. Oh, no, that is no, so no. important. And my digestion has improved so, so much. I mean, yeah. I'm talking about 20 plus years of having digestive issues to where I was on medication probably for about six years, uh, just for digestive issues I mean, because, you know, I couldn't go. And, and so once I started eating better and, and hydrating my body, the way it needs to be hydrated, you know, I, I'm, you know, that, that issue is gone. That problem's gone. And, and so that's, you know, it was huge for me because, you know, like I said, for I guess six years, I was on medication for that. Right. I don't remember the name of it. It, it was some kind of medication that just, it just, you know, I took it every single day for like yeah. six years Yeah. because it's been a few years since I quit taking it. But I mean, I would try that. I would buy the citrate magnesium, those nasty bottles of citrate magnesium and just hold my nose and chug them mm. because I knew it was going to give me the relief that I needed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you know, const- like I, I just had this class last night in my free group on, on digestion, right? And yes, I and, saw and, it. And one of the number one reasons for, well, the one of the main reasons for constipation is a lack of bile flow and the and in and, 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 you know combination of stomach acid and bile. And so when you're when you can work on that system together, you know, it, it makes it a lot easier for you know. And also, if you don't have enough stomach acid, you're not breaking down your food, and that causes constipation. Right. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, 
Um, so I'm so happy that's fixed because I understand it's miserable not to Oh yeah. She go to the bathroom every day, ladies, every single day. <laughs> One last thing I wanted to ask you because you are really busy. And a lot of times I will hear one of the things I questions I get a lot is, well, I just don't know if I have the time to put in to get healthy. Mm, what would you say about that? My favorite part of the academy actually dealt with that issue because I would try so hard. And that's what I would tell my my sister who got me interested in, into your program was I don't have the kind of, I don't have the time to dedicate to that. I'm, I'm never going to be successful in it because I don't have the time. I can't log on those hours. They conflict with my work schedule and whatnot. And what worked the best for me was knowing that every live call is recorded. So I don't have to have that feeling if I missed out. I can watch it at my time when, when my when I'm available. So I, I think I told you before I joked around that um, I go to sleep with you almost every night. <laughs> so, so I'll put on, put on what I missed. And and I'll play well, and that's what I'm listening to before I fall asleep at night. You know that that's you know that's my time. Oh, you I have poor to thing. <laughs> I, I gotta eke a little bit of time out from somewhere in my day for just for me. And so so that's what I'll do. Or you and I have lunch together. I'll take my phone with me, and my earphones, awesome. and while I'm sitting there having lunch, you know, my 30 minute lunch break, I'm listening to you. Awesome. So so that just worked out so so well for me to be able to do that. And had it not been for the, for the recorded sessions, it, I probably would not have been successful. Yeah. So yeah, thank that's, you so much that's, for doing that. That that's so convenient. Well, and that's you know that's part of the, the 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 strong component why people who do the program get such amazing results because we are a program that is very interactive. I mean, we make sure that you are getting your questions answered. That we're it's interactive. You're, you can have access to the replays. You're always getting information, and it's not like. You're never, nobody ever talks to you. Nobody ever answers your questions. Nobody, ever, it's, it's right. very interactive. Mm -hmm. So um, I love that about, I just wanted to bring that up because a lot of women will say the same thing and they think that they can't get results. And that's just an excuse. Usually women, women say that it's usually just an yeah. excuse because they're scared that they're not going to be able to do it. But I wanted you to address that because it is hundred percent possible to be able to get results like this. And, and that, and that was my saving, and that was my saving grace. Had they not been mm -hmm. recorded, I probably would have dropped out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, this is amazing. Congratulations, girl. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. My, my, the, awesome. my colleagues that I work with cannot believe the transformation from when I started in August to when I finished with them in June, they, they cannot believe my transformation. Yeah. <laughs> We have a camp coming up here. Uh, I would like you to talk to the women out there that are in your situation that are just frustrated. Uh, tell them why it's important that they take this time for themselves and join us at camp to learn more about their unique situation. Well, because because your program is so individualized. I mean, yes, there's a lot of it that, that applies to each and every one of us, but then you're able to get down specifically to what our specific, what's holding us back, what our issues are. And you help us learn about those. So for me, what's important in your program is that you don't give me a list of do's and don'ts. Do this, do this, do this, don't do this, don't do this, right? Or eat this, not that. You give us the information behind the whys. And to motivate me to want to do something, I need to know why. Why can't I eat that? Why, why should I eat this instead? And why is this bad for me? I need to know that information behind the scenes information. And you do such a fantastic job in educating us that it empowers us to want to take more control over ourselves and not just be the byproduct of, oh, well, I'm 60. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> my thyroid. You know, so you get yeah, my thyroid, my age, you know, I'm past menopause is expected. No, that's not true. That, that is not the truth. The truth is, if we want to feel better, we eat better. And you teach us how to put only good things in our body, because our body is going to respond to what we give it, right? Mm. If, just like your cars, if you're going to put regular gasoline in there or premium, that's what you're going to get back out. So what mm. we put into it is what we get out of it. And you teach us how and the wise to, to put the good stuff into us so that we feel better and we look better and we do better. Mm. And so that's why they need to come to the academy to learn how to take control of their health issues and not just let it be, oh, well. So worth it, isn't it, girl? It definitely I mean, is. Think about like, if you could go back to where you were in uh, October, I mean, would you ever no, want thank to you. go back? No, thank you. Right. <laughs> no, thank you. Right. 
Do I, not want to. And that's why I tell everyone that I meet, I'm not on it because they'll tell me, well, when are you going to eat this? And when you, I said, I never, never. Yeah. I said, I'm not on a diet. It's a lifestyle change for me. Yeah. This is, I'm changing the way I think about food. Yep. If I want to reward myself, I don't need a, a piece of sugary cake at the end of the day. I can can reward myself. I'll go buy myself a new pair of clothes, a new outfit. I'm finding a reward. Right. You know, that's a reward. Not right. just putting something that's unhealthy in my body. That's not a reward for me. Right. Right. So, and, so and, no, and I said, you, 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 just, change. you said it so perfectly. It's like most people don't understand this. They can't fathom that we love to eat healthy and that, and that tastes good, right? And yes, that they can't fathom that. We can't fathom the other, which is all the, the junk food, because this is what happens. What you put in, your body craves more. So if you're putting in junk, mm-hmm. putting in McDonald's, putting in Arby's and Subway and cakes and cookies, your body craves more of that, which then <laughs> your brain gets a dopamine hit and you're like, you want more of it. So for those people, they think, oh my gosh, eating, I could never eat healthy because I crave this crap. So that's the process that we have to change because once you get to the point and you train yeah. your body, you reduce the inflammation, by the way, the inflammation is what's causing a lot of the cravings. Anyway, when you reduce the inflammation and start practicing, you know, eating healthy and making, uh, you know, uh, modifications to unhealthy recipes. Now, like you perfectly said, your body craves healthy food and the unhealthy food becomes just like yeah i don't need that reward anymore i don't even but want the, it but, but the healthy is- food isn't the healthy food isn't bad tasting and that's what people think that yeah. the, the perception is that if yeah. i'm going to eat healthy it's going to be bland it's going to have no flavor and that's not true the other day my grandson came by my house and i was making a stir fry of all vegetables and no meat, not even any meat, just various vegetables. And he watches, oh, grandma, that smells so good. What is that? <laughs> and so, do you want to try it? He says, can you make me some of that? You know? And, and so eating healthy doesn't have to be bad tasting or lack of taste. Yeah. I remember, now that you brought this up, I remember a few calls that you did show up on. You were in your kitchen cooking as your grandson was right there as you're on the call listening and yeah. ask, asking questions. <laughs> Yeah, you just yeah. you just did so good, girl. And I'm so I'm I'm, ha- I'm happy. For, of course, I'm proud of you, but I'm so happy for you because I know what you're you feeling like, you know, just six seven months ago. It's it's no quality of life. It it sucks to feel crappy. Yes, so, yes, it does. <laughs> yeah. So congratulations. Thank you so much for taking Thank the time you. to talk to uh, the girls about your your. Um, amazing results and uh thank you and so I, much i encourage everyone to, do, to, to to check the academy out it's it's a small price to pay for so much information and and i think it will really jumpstart a lot of you wanting to improve your health and knowing that it's possible because a lot of times we lose hope and your academy will give them the hope to know that it is possible to get healthier so that's why they should join perfectly said darling thank you so much Thank you, Terry. We'll see you later.